interesting what you just said there. What was that? Uh, there was, you seem to be slightly underwhelmed with, with England. Was oh. that, did I detect the right time? No, no. There no. was a word what used. Did I say? There was a word used where I just thought scraping that Scraping through, did scraping I Scraping through, yeah. Well, it was a little bit. We no, had, no, it we was. Had it, do, do you know I what? mean, I take it. It's better than being knocked down the group yeah. stages. You're completely right. It, we did, of course, we did scrape through. But do you know what I think's happened? I, I honestly think that people in this country have forgotten quite what it was like. We are now taking it for granted that we're in a semi-final. Third semi-final and fourth for Gareth Southgate, right? Yeah, and also, it's important. You know when you say that stat, it's very important to acknowledge that the one that wasn't a semi-final was probably our best performance. Like, sure. You know when we got done by France in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. Doha? We were there, weren't we? Exactly. And and I think that we were far and away the best team in that in that, uh, in that that tie. Look, if you're putting this on me then, Rory. I should say, you are probably someone who... I mean, I should say you're not the only person because most people Hostility are. Hostility to Southgate, you you're going to so, say, aren't you? Yeah, yeah so you, you just come yeah. rightly so, by the yeah. way. Uh, hang on a minute. Third and four... Yeah. That's good, yeah. but you know, every time Southgate gets stick, I see that clip of you doing the rounds on Twitter. Yeah, it does. It does go. It, it certainly does go. Do you know? Do you know what I think about Gareth Southgate? I think that he is a limited manager, and not really good enough to lead the country. Limited coach, certainly. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in terms of his tactical acumen, in terms of his decision making, overall, he isn't for me. But what I would say is, park it now. No, I'm finding nothing more infuriating. Are you are you as a as in your in your leisure time, are you across YouTube? Do you watch sort of commentary on YouTube? Football fan talking on YouTube? Are you on I, there? I see on Twitter a lot. Do, do you know what? I just can't abide now. It isn't whether the, you're right or wrong. You're probably right if you are hostile to Southgate. I, I'm very hostile to Southgate under normal circumstances. But we're in a semi-final. Just shut up for a bit. Yeah. Just just for now. Back the team. There's literally no point. Should Gareth Southgate be manager for the game against Holland? In a in a perfect world, he would have probably moved on after, after Qatar. Qatar think, yeah. If not after Qatar, I think someone slightly more harsh. I, I would have said maybe after the Italian game uh, at Wembley. But 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 equally, wherever you believe the line in the sand is, most people believe that the line in the sand has now come. But just be quiet about yeah. it now. It doesn't do anyone any favor. No, you know well, what we could do? We're in a really privileged position, you and I, Sam. We we sit on a Talksport station with a Talksport microphone in front of us, and with that, we have responsibility do you know what we could do and it would do really well on social media you and I could dedicate two hours of, our, of this show we could dedicate two full hours of it to cutting Southgate in half to talking about his limitations but who does that help does that encourage the team does it encourage the fans does it give us belief I'm just I, I don't think Southgate should be England manager but he is England manager so for now two mm. games just totally get behind him um, that's why I was very critical, Rory. I remember being on the breakfast show on Talksport. I think the first, the morning after the the game, I lose track of games. It was the, it was the Denmark game when stuff got thrown at Southgate. Wasn't yeah, it after? that was bad. The one all that game. I have yeah. to say, Rory, I am absolutely, and I was one hundred percent against that because you're right. It was a bad performance. We know it was a bad performance, but surely in that moment mm. when a team has just played badly. The last thing they need are supporters booing and supporters. Now I know you're you're a match going fan. You go and watch mm. your team, so I don't know if you're a booer or not. I'm a big booer. But you're a big, I'm okay. a big I'm All a right. big booer. But I yeah. thought that Rory throwing something mm. at the manager, no matter how bad you might think his tactics are, I was very very much against that Rory. Yeah. Do, you, do you know what's happened to me? I think I went to the game in Gelsenkirchen, the the, the game against Slovakia, the last minute Jude Bellingham bicycle wow. kick. I was at that game. And I don't want to kind of make. You get about, don't you? Rory? I don't want to make this a sort of Burning Man football where I've like found myself and and kind of had a revolutionary experience at a football match. But on some level, I kind of have. What I thought was amazing about that game of football, most of the time, nine times out of ten, when you watch a game of football in the stadium or you watch the identical game on the television, your your consumption is the same. The way that you process what you've witnessed is the same. It's the same game. But there was a huge difference watching that game on the telly. I think that the feeling that I've understood it to be, people that watched the Slovakia game on the telly, they, they thought it was dross, they were angry, regardless of the Bellingham brilliance, they were yep. annoyed. That's fair. And they saw it. In the, being in the stadium, I was fortunate enough to be in the England main end. I was amazed at the support. I really was. Like I've been quite scathing about Chelsea support over the years. I'm not one of those people that just says, my team have the best support. Sure. England support in Gelsenkirchen is one of the best ends I've ever been in. Wow. It was just unilateral Back in partisan the support. Yeah. And I... I kind of learnt something there I thought you know what this is brilliant and and rightly or wrongly my belief is that fans in a stadium affect the result on the pitch 100% agree with I you I truly that. believe that Absolutely. England fa- it's all very well giving the praise to Jude Bellingham and he deserves 99% of it 1% belongs to the England fans who were just team. diligent yeah so I've adopted that policy now 
So, Rory, are we saying with Southgate, right? Because I think you're absolutely spot on. I think it's pretty, it's pretty well well known, but uh, above anyone that's watched England for the last few years, tactically, he's clearly not a great coach, right? It's not an England mm. team that plays with any real identity. No. It feels like he gets a lot of a, Eight a lot years of big in decisions. as well. Eight, Eight years, years in exactly. for this, yeah. But are we saying that one thing we have to give him credit for it's the way that he has united everybody, right? The oh, way that everybody, things, yeah. everybody, and you said it there, you were inside the stadium, right? It was a group of supporters that were backing the team, right? Clearly, we know it was a bunch of lads that like playing for their country. There's no doubt about that, right? And maybe in international football, that's the most important thing, right? We know they've got limited time on the training pitch. So does he deserve more credit for the fact that it is, and also something as well, right? This England team, right? A lot of things get leaked, right? The team always gets leaked. The formation mm. always gets leaked. I haven't seen one report, one article of any sort of stories of the England players are unhappy, you know, unhappy or, with Southgate yeah. and these are players that get coached by oh. Ancelotti yeah, Klopp yeah, yeah. Well, I agree, so, with you. I agree. But, but you see nothing and I, and I think it's, it's an England team and somebody like Kieran Southgate. Trippier there are players within this England team who could have the hump like Kieran Trippier has been asked to play time and again in a very unfamiliar yeah. position to him a position where he's not a very good footballer but he's done the job he hasn't moaned he's been professional and that could be mirrored by anybody who's coming to the team the question though I reckon that's that's important for us to get to the bottom of here. Let me ask your opinions on this. Does playing well matter? Does entertaining you as a consumer of football, a fan of football, does it matter? Is it relevant for us to have an identity? You know the word you use there, identity. Yeah. Does, for, does Southgate have a philosophy? Yeah. This isn't a 38-game Premier League season. No. This is a seven-match tournament. And there we, are two matches left. And we know we've seen a lot of teams in the past, whether it's Greece in 04, whether it's the Portugal... But the Portugal team in 16, yeah. the famous stat is they won it. Uh, we, we, and didn't we're win better than them. Minutes. We're better than them. Yeah. And do you, know, do you know the other one, Sam, that people don't like to... Because everybody loves Lionel Messi, people don't like to admit this. Yeah. Argentina were rubbish, yeah, man. They, 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 they were yeah. rubbish. They lost to Saudi Arabia in they the lost first Saudi Arabia. Can you imagine if England lost to Saudi I, Arabia? I went to... I went in the groups, they played Lionel Messi missed a penalty. Poland. Poland, like they were rubbish. Yeah, they were both yeah, yeah. rubbish. So, so ultimately, who cares? Does it matter to you? Like, okay, Southgate hasn't put an identity in. Who cares? We're in the semi-final. Southgate hasn't got an ideology. Who cares? We're in the semi-final. Harry Kane's not firing. Who cares? We're in the semi-final. If this continues, if this luck or whatever it is, finding a way, having being a football team that's lucky is kind of better than being good. That's a there's a there's a quote about that. Somebody more articulate than me would rather be lucky than good, wouldn't you? The other thing is. And I'll find a way. You said it there in the in the preamble before we started talking. You said preamble. Got... That's a world class, highly paid written opener by one of our production <laughs> team. I mean, he just called that preamble. I mean, he, yeah, he's Demo, worked, it was he's it was excellent work, I mean, man. Preamble's not a, preamble. is it preamble derogatory? That was I don't know. Uh, is preamble I, derogatory? I, I'm going to Google the definition of preamble while you tell <laughs> well, me. Well, if, if preamble comes with negative connotations, Debo, I apologise to you. Um, I I thought it was beautifully written. <laughs> it was up there with Keats and Wordsworth. <laughs> But Don't take the in, now, come in, on. in that in in that opener that was so so perfectly delivered and written, what you said, which I think was was interesting, was we we basically find a way. Like it's about it's true. Right? It's in, we we have two things: we have heart and we have individual brilliance. Is that enough to win your tournament? I'm inclined to say it is, sir. Rory, with everything then you've just said, should Gareth Southgate not remain manager then after this tournament? Why get rid of him? If, you, if you're saying, you know, three semis and four, you know, it's an England team that love playing for him, it's an England team that go over the line, why get rid Sam, of him? Sam, I had, a, I had quite an interesting argument with a caller on Talk Sport. I was fortunate enough to be on Talk Sport last night. Yep. And I had an argument with somebody because I think football is, is ultimately, like history, is written by the winners. It would be very difficult to sack Gareth Southgate off the back of winning a tournament. Therefore, I think it's fair enough. Unless Gareth Southgate himself decides to move upstairs at the FA, to, to do a different job, to have a different experience, to no longer be the England manager. It's his decision. But if he wins this tournament, <laughs> it's a game of small margins, man. If he wins this tournament, Which he takes he us to America. Do, right? He takes us to America if he wins a tournament. Southgate wins. You, Rory Jennings, the man who's been very quick, you want him to stay on. The reason that I have said I want him sacked for years, the reason I've said it's time to move him on, is because in my definition of Southgate, he cannot win. If he right. proves me wrong and wins... Then I'm wrong, aren't I? But in his defence, I mean, one of them, you know, he was a penalty shootout away from. But they're the fine margin. Yeah, they're but the fine margin. Was, was that down to him? Do you think? No, it was down to him. That game was. The, the, you talk no, about, about the penalties. Yeah, but you know, I know he should have managed the game better. Yeah, he should have managed the game better. And also, to his credit, he's learnt from it. It's not a coincidence. You know, we we can we can deride Gareth Southgate for many things, and we do, right? Everyone but does, but we enough have to give him some credit for. You're scoring five out of five. 
In the penalties, yeah. Gareth Southgate deserves a lot of credit for and that. And they rule great penalties, by the way. Five out of five in a penalty shootout isn't a coincidence. No. It's managerial excellence. It's And do you know, do you know I've, there was an article, I think it was in the Times, where uh, Martin Samuel spoke about this. They mimic as... as as much as you can mimic a penalty that means the world, right, in training, as much as it can be done, they do that in training. So they have it. It isn't a question of, right, who fancies a penalty. Yeah. It isn't a question of, you know, the way Lampard and Gerrard and Skulls would have been training. Be like, right, let's fire a few penalties, lads. It isn't that. They it's of, it's they you do the walk. The, they the do process, the walk from they? the halfway yeah, yeah, line. Course, they, yeah. This is in training. Yeah. They do the walk from the halfway line. They increase the element of jeopardy. They make sure that it's, that it's a serious, serious uh, event and from that comes the brilliance that we saw. Mm. Like it, it, we can we can talk about Southgate in a really negative way, and like I said, we could dedicate a show to it. But if you want to be honest, we also have to say England scoring five out of five penalties. Tony Saka, mm. whatever Cole Palmer, you get the credit. But enough, a lot of that credit belongs mm. to Gareth Southgate as well. 